excellent job with the mouse. Well, now since we've talked about the different parts of the computer, we've discussed some different terminology, and we all know how to use the mouse, it's time to use that mouse to start interacting with our computer. Now when you turn your computer on, the first screen that you're going to come to is known as your desktop. Now this desktop is your starting point. The desktop contains four basic characteristics. And pretty much every desktop has the same four basic characteristics. The first one that I want you to notice is the background. Every desktop will have a different type of background to it. The one we're using has green fields, a blue sky, it's got clouds, real nice peaceful scene. You might go to someone else's computer and they might have a picture of a cat or they might have a picture of flowers or sunflowers or a race car. The background often confuses people because they think, oh, I'm in a completely different screen. But don't worry about that. The background of your desktop can be changed. Actually, in Basic Computers Part 4, we'll tell you how to change that background so you can customize your computer. Pick out one that you really like. So when you go to a computer and you're at the desktop, don't let the background throw you off. A lot of different pictures can be used. And it's not really that important in computer use. Now, the second characteristic I want to talk about is the taskbar. The taskbar is located at the bottom of the screen. And the taskbar is usually either gray or blue. And the taskbar will interact with something called windows that we're going to learn about later on in this class. But just keep in mind the bar at the bottom of your screen is either blue or gray. Uh, normally blue with the newer computers, is going to be on every desktop. Now, we've talked about two different characteristics of the desktop. We have a background and we have a taskbar. The third characteristic that I want you to notice is the icon or icons. Every desktop is going to have pictures, little tiny pictures on it. Some place on your desktop, some desktops will have 20 icons, 20 of these little pictures. Some desktops are going to have one, some might have 10, some might have five. Once again, these icons can be customized. Some people like to have icons, some people don't. Later on in Basic Computers 3 and 4, we'll show you how to create your own icons. Now, what is an icon? Why do people want them? Well, icons are shortcuts. They represent shortcuts to different places on your computer. So now we've talked about three different characteristics of the desktop. The background, the taskbar at the bottom, and the icons, which represent shortcuts to different places on our computer. Later on in this class, we're going to learn how to use an icon. The fourth characteristic of every desktop, and the most important characteristic, is the start menu. It's located in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. It's a green button and it says Start. The Start menu contains everything on your computer and every desktop will have one. If you don't have a Start menu on your computer, you're in trouble. In the next section of this class, we're going to take a look at that Start menu and learn how to use it.